Alrighty, welcome back. I'm on to the other side because the factor of all the moisture we're getting in the, in the air right now, it's raining outside. I keep looking out the window at the old two-door sedan there. I keep looking at it. I want to play with it for a bit. I really do. But it's been raining the last couple days, and the one day we did have, I had some fillers of sand. But on this side right now, it's been, it's been a while since I've done anything to it. Jolene got me a kick in the ass. She did a little bit of fiberglass in this morning, and I, and I said, what the hey, I'll better get on this side and do the exact same thing. Let's go over the other side and take a look for a second. This is where we're at on this side. I have got it busted out. Uh, what I feel like I need to bust out right at the present moment. I've got the I've got a fix down here. So what I've got to do is going to take. I have to take some time, get this truck up in the air, get it on jack stands. It just takes time, and I will do it. It's just when I feel like it. But anyways, as I got down here, there's no mud down here. I've got a I've got a problem. I've got a fix there yet. Also. Uh, we're going to say it's going to be nice to, to finish the bottom that way inside the wheel wells after I get it up. But, I've, but you, what you can see, what I've got going on here, I've got this wheel lip going on all the way along, all the way up there. It's a little bit fat in places, a little bit whatever. But I, 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 like, a, I like having too much on right at the present moment. I do have a bit too much on in areas, and I do not mind that because uh, when I'm trying to get it down to the low of the flood, I might need that. I might need that to help me get what I need to get. But anyways, I've got the body line going. I've got the shape going pretty good. It's not looking bad. Uh, it's all covered. Um, what has to happen is there has to be a lot of finish work going on uh, in, on the ends and stuff like that, down around the taillights, a lot of little stuff. And what I'll do is I'll focus on that sort of stuff. And there's a trick also when you're doing that sort of stuff. The long stuff, I don't mind let setting because I can use the, the 8 inch orbital to sand it off. Yes, I can. But when you get up into areas like this and areas down like in the taillights, it's nice to, when you put your filler on, you put it in a small amounts, but it's nice to get there when it's soft so you don't have to dig at it so hard. So you can, if you take your time and hit it at the right time, you can apply the mud there in the areas and hit it while it's soft and you can shape it a little bit better. Uh, but why it's open like this, that thing there busts it off no problem so I don't worry about if it sets for, don't care if it sets for 10 days, um, I'm, I'm willing to sh bust it off with that. But you get finger, finger sanding in places around with 40, uh, it's hard on the hands, yes it is. But you can see as I'm on that side, I need to get this side covered up. I've, all, I've taken a drill, it, it kind of turned there a little bit on me and I want it to get it you know, looking better, but I'm going to get on this side and start mudding this, or mudding this side. I'm going to show you how I do it again. Uh, you know what it is? It's called repeat, and uh, it's just called repeat. Basically the same thing over and over, and try to get the exact same thing accomplished, and that's a good job. Let's try to, this one here, I guess I'll go, go for it. Jolene, give me a kick in the ass in this morning and got me going by doing a little bit of fiberglass and you can watch that on Facebook if you want to because I, you know, I switched the camera on her once in a while and said, hey, you get underneath the old microscope there for a while and see what, see what you can do. And she did a badass job. She did a badass job. What I'm doing right this present moment, I'm just thinning this down. I'm thinning this down. If you've never watched me do it before, this is what I'm doing. I'm using this stuff here, the good Napa, Napa know-how. I'm using the, the polyester resin and their fiberglass reinforced auto body filler. I'm using that. I use the resin. Whoops, sorry, it's throwing stuff at you, baby. I use the resin to thin it out because it's, it has a little too much meat for me um, for what I want to try to do. I'm not going to use it as filler. I'm going to use it as a, a water barrier, pinhole, picker upper, uh, whatever. That's what I'm using it for. I'm just using it to cover the welds. This stuff is harder to sand. This stuff is harder to sand. Um, and that's why I, I want to put it on as thin as possible because I really don't want to sand it. Uh, it's, it's a step I'm trying to skip. You come over this side here. Come over this side here. Uh, the other day you seen me, I, I, put the, I put the fiberglass filler on and I put the body fill right over top of it. Yes, I did. Um, I, I'm accepting that. I would not say I didn't if I did but I did not sand the fiberglass filler. And what I'm saying is, when I sanded it, I couldn't sand it off 
the, I, I, could, I could sand it off, but the fiberglass still stayed, and it feathered off. I couldn't, I couldn't dig the fiberglass filler off. I had to sand it off. So that tells me that it's sticking. And the reason I'm saying it's sticking, because it's made of the exact same product. But as you can see, I even went to the metal, and I still couldn't get the, the, the body fill off of the fiberglass. So that evidence there tells me I do not have to sand my fiberglass to put filler over top of it. That's what it tells me. And uh, that's my evidence, and I'm sticking to it. And uh, that's all there is to it. <laughs> I'm sticking to it. That's the evidence. And if it's not good enough, take it and do it. Take some fiberglass, lay it down, and stick it together and try it. See if you can get it apart. We just had complications there, and I just wanted to explain it one more time to try to clear it up, that's all. I uh, just wanted to clear it up. I can see where... where if you didn't sand paint, and you when we first applied body filler over top of paint that was not sanded, I can see it coming off. But this, this body filler and this fiberglass stuff is quite something else. That quarter panel is all welded on there, if you can't tell. Uh, it was because of the It's Labor Day, and I'd like to put in a little bit of labor. Put in a little bit of labor. Right, baby? Put in a little bit of labor. Yeah, I don't, I don't really want to sand this at all. It's so hard. On there either yet. I have a little bit of beating and pounding I want to do on the quarter panel right here, so I'm going to move away from it. looks amazing today. She looks amazing. She always does. She always does. Uh, I haven't, this is a, I had a little bit of, I had a little bit of fiberglass. I have not used a full can by no means yet on this fiberglass talking and doing the same thing i have not used a can of fiberglass in this whole truck yet and there's a lot of welds on this truck a lot and i have not used a gallon of it yet we're trying to sweep up the the filler as we use it to compare and it does not matter one single bit because it needs what it needs, <laughs> right? That's exactly, that's how I look at it at this point. At this point, it needs what it needs, and uh, it's over. Uh, we spent the six weeks or whatever it took to weld it up and, and fabricate it. Um, it's over, let's, let's get on with it. We'll do the body work and, and do the paint work and see what it looks like. Try to anyways. Look at my next positioning, just so I have an idea. 
And if it dries a little slow, that's okay. Um, it gives me a little more time to mix it. Also, if, like on the other side, the other side is sanded out, yes, or sanded out somewhat, it's 40 grit, there's not an 80 grit on it yet, there's still a 40 grit has to go on there, or an 80 grit has to go on the sand that, take some scratches out of it. But if it has anything that I want to repair, I will do the exact same thing to my body filler to make it thinner to get what I need done. I do not have to put a bunch of thick filler. If you put filler on, it seems to be very, well, it's thick somewhat. It seems to be thick when you put it on. It's nice and fluffy. How's that? I'll call it fluffy. It's fluffy, it is. And uh, sometimes when you're at the end, you do not need that fluffy body fill. I think a lot of people will use the, the spot putty. And the, uh, the reason I do not use the spot putty, because it's glorified body fill that costs more money. And I, I'm not, I don't need to buy it. I'm able to do it this way. I get my filler straight. Um, I don't need the, the putty to get my filler straight or take the pinholes out because I'll just sand it and prime it. I got lots on there. Just trying to make this stuff as thin as possible and make it flow into them welds nice as possible. You got to admit, if, if, you, if, you, if it's not flowing good, this, this stuff, if you do not push down on it, you can cause a problem. It has to be applied. Sorry, sweetheart. Shouldn't, shouldn't have pulled down on that. Go back up on that and put that fiberglass up against that weld where we want it. a bit high there. I don't want to take the chance of sanding it. I want it down in place where it's supposed to be. Swipe it again. And having that resin in there is giving me a chance to go back there and play with that. Yes, it did. Thank you, resin. Thank you very much. Again, sweetheart, let's do it again. Still got a little bit of grinding to do on this side. Yes, I do. But uh, I do it when I have to, I guess. That's how I feel about things sometimes. Just do it when you have to. Sometimes just when you have to go back to something, you say, well, I should have done it. Well, you know what? You were probably doing something else. That's how I look at it. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Thank you for all the comments lately. That's been awesome. Thank you for the Facebook comments. Thank you. It's been awesome. Thank you for everything. Let's keep her rocking and rolling. Keep inspired to get this bad boy done. Um, and the only way I'm going to get it done is have labor, labor days. <laughs> That's the only way I'm going to get it done is to have labor days. And uh, the day that I come out here in the shop in the work is the day I get closer to getting it done. And every day I come out here and we do a little video, it helps me, it helps me, yes it does, get this bad boy done because I got to get something done if I'm up here. Uh, 
I've got time to spend, if you know what I'm trying to tell you. I've got 67,000 seconds today. 84 seven seconds today, and I want to spend some of them. Yeah, get her done, man. I like to get it on and then spread it. Get it on and then spread it. Jolene did a fantastic job putting that on this morning. Fantastic. She did a fantastic job this morning. And believe me, I don't throw out the helps either. You know, I mean, she watches me every day, obviously. But there's a difference between doing it and watching. Yes, there is. There's a very big difference. Um, watching is knowing. Um, doing is exper like it's a, the experience. Um, so she, she gets to, you know, do whatever. She has done it before. But, you know, mixing all the, the, the fillers up with the right amount of resin and putting it on and getting there and being satisfactory, that's a different thing. <laughs> Trying to thin this out just a little bit more. Cruising along, we are cruising along. Oh, got some dust in that one. It's okay, we're sanding it. It's not gonna hurt anything. Just Bob Ross would say, just a happy mistake. Cause I'm still happy and it was a little mistake. And as bad Chad would say, that's just a boo-boo. Just a boo-boo. Carry on. I think need a bunch more but just a little bit more just want to flow nice nice as I can And when I'm doing this, you, when I'm doing it this way and I'm saying the way I'm doing it, you do not have to do it my way. You do not have to do it my way. But if you feel that you're interested or you think or whatever, if it's going to cause you less time, I mean, you really have to go for it, you know. And that's, and that's what I have done and that's what I've learned over time. Um, I didn't let anybody tell me how it had to be done unless they could prove it to me or they could show me or whatever, I guess, or I learned myself. 
And uh, when I do this sort of stuff, and I, you know, do not sand the fiberglass and do not whatever, you know, that's sort of stuff that I figured out when I'm putting it on the board, when, I, when it's on the board and you try to get body fill off. That stuff will not come apart. I didn't sand any of it. <laughs> All I did is keep mixing it and try to keep the board as smooth as possible. But it will not separate. It didn't has, I've never taken it off and have it separate. So when I, when I come to sanding the car off, when it comes to time to sand the car off, why would I not use that information to make my job go faster? That's basically what I've, what I've done. I've used the information from mixing it on the board. What I mean the board is this, this board right here. When I break the mud and the body fill off this bad boy, it does not separate. It, does, it, does, it has no prejudice from what it's sticking to, not whatsoever. I did not sand any of it. I did not do anything to it, but it sticks. So it tells me that I'm allowed to put it on the car and it'll stick. That's how it proves it to me. And that's what I go by. I go by the evidence. And the evidence says, when I put filler on top of that, right there, this little board here, when I break it off, it will not separate. I haven't seen it separate yet. So that tells me the evidence. And I apply that to what I'm doing. Why would I not? Haven't you ever take the fill off a board and bend it and, and see the different layers? doesn't break apart, doesn't split. So why would, it, why would it do it here? And that's why I kind of talk about that sort of stuff. Sometimes it's hard to, you know, people say, well, you're gonna do this, you gotta do that. Well, I'm, just, I'm trying to prove my point. I'm trying to prove my point. That's why I talk about it, because I have to prove my point. Because sometimes the evidence is not clear. And the evidence is when you, I guess when you do that and you break it off, it just, the body fill and fiberglass do not separate from each other. They break off and you can see the layers in it. So if it's laying on top of the truck, I'm figuring why would it do any different? Why would it do any different? And uh, I come to find out it doesn't. <laughs> and if you're that kind of person that needs to know things like I sort of do sometimes or wants to know or whatever, um, you would figure it out on your own. You don't have to have... Some, I didn't have to have someone to tell me that I had to sand, or I'd have to have someone tell me that I didn't have to sand that to put body fill over it. I did it because I proved, I proved it to myself when I broke the board apart. That let me know. Um, when something is not sanded, like you put it over like a shiny paint job and you probably put body fill over top of it, that's a taboo that's happened many, 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 many moons ago, you know. Um, but it, yeah. I guess, I don't know how, what, to, what to say, just it'll stick on top of each other and it will not lift. I just take the evidence that I have in, in, in front of me and I generally go with it. <laughs> and, I, and I do not complicate it whatsoever. Do not complicate it. This is not every way, this is not every way how, how to build a car, that's for sure. I can bet you probably 90% of the, of the people that watch have never seen a car filled like that before. <laughs> but, you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And I am trying to get it done as quick as possible. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to get it done as quick as possible. So, I appreciate good and bad, but... For some that question it, it's hard to fathom why. <laughs> why? I'm showing you right in front of your face. Just one on the welds. There's a funky spot there. Jolene did so good this morning. It's quite, a, you know, 
She's a good student. She just, she just got other things to do, you know, or else I have her out here working. She just got other things to do. Honey, baby. She's got other things to do. I'm getting a little sloppy there, I am. Another nice thing about thinning this out is that you're able to play with it a little bit longer to make it satisfactory to your taste. Satisfactory to your taste. Let's get her rock and roll and get the side covered up. I'm hoping that I have enough in me to sand it like I did the other side, which I probably do. Keep losing that step, don't I, baby? Do, 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 do. The reason I'm applying this over top of the welds, because they're saying it's a little, well, it is stronger, and I can tell you why it's stronger, because we sand body fill and then sand this stuff. There's two different, there's two different things going on. If you've ever sanded fiberglass with a 40 grit, you'll know that the, this sands harder than the filler. So this is harder than the filler. Um, I know that when I hit it, hit when I go through the filler and hit the fiberglass on the other side, you can feel it. You can feel it, yes you can. You can feel where the fiberglass is in the filler. Yes you can. And uh, you have to, what can I say? Be careful about that because when something is two different, two different uh, textures or hardness, um, they sand different. So when, when you hit fiberglass, I know I'm close to the metal, so you really got to try to stay away from the fiberglass also. And it really does sand a lot harder, and you'll find that you will go down in areas if you're not careful. You have to be careful this sort of stuff. Labor day, baby. Huh? Putting in good labor, anyway. Huh? I said, I got a few more cars I want to build, and Joanne goes, well, you got to get your work clothes on then, didn't you? I got to get your work clothes on then. That's basically it. That's basically it. If you have a dream or if you have a car you want to build, you must realize that you just put your work clothes on. You must realize that. You have to. If you do not realize, your dream's not going to come true. So when you go buy your old car, make sure you know you've just put your work clothes on because you've got a dream to fix that thing. Put them on and go for it. Also, if you do not have a dream, it cannot come true. It cannot come true. What dream? <laughs> right? What dream? Can't grab that. You never wished it. as possible thin as possible you can see where it's hitting the fender it's down on top of the well but there it is time for one more we give away a hat or shirt we're gonna do one more 
I'm gonna do the door, maybe do the door seam and up top there. I got I want to bang on. I want to bang on this. That's in there a little bit. I want to bang on that a little bit. Got to take the back wheel off and give it a little bang on there. I got to grind the heads off the welds down this little piece on the bottom. And then I'm ready to rock and roll because the rest of it's looking pretty good. Not better than you though, Jolene. Not better than you. Jolene's my fiberglass and queen. Is there such a song, baby? This is the hard part, you know, get rocking and rolling on this stuff. Or <laughs> to pay someone to apply it is hard sometimes too. Yes, it is. It's very hard to, it's a painstaking thing to watch. Yes, it is to watch someone fill out a car. But it has to be done. It has to be done. It has to be done. No, it does not have to be done. No, it does not have to be done. You do it the way you ever you the way you feel like doing it. Yes, you do. Whatever makes you happy. And maybe whatever doesn't matter. Maybe you can't afford the fiberglass or you don't want to like or you don't like the fiberglass. You do it whatever the way you want to. But I'm just showing you my way. And uh, you take whatever you want and throw away every, whatever you want. That's basically what I do. I take whatever I want. And whatever I don't want, I throw it away. Basically, if I don't want to think about it, I don't think about it. It's not something that I think that interests me or where I'm going for. Then I stay away. I try to make sure that I base decisions on what meets my needs. Basically. Got to grind that off. Yes, I do. Try and get all the welds covered. I don't want the side popping out with any rust. You know, it's been here long enough with nothing on it. If I was going to let it set and wasn't going to get to it, yes, I'd put something on. I'd prime something on it because it'd be a waste of material to let it set here and not fill it out and let it go back to rust. It'd be a waste of material. And I can't do that. So I'm going to get start mixing the mud and get it put back onto it. It's still looking good right now. Just don't want it to turn on me. That's all. Get the mud on it, then it's not going to turn on me. Give away a hat or a shirt. Just give away a hat or a shirt, everybody. You do it your way. That'll make you the happiest, I guarantee it. But uh, this is the fastest way I know how. And I'm just showing you how I do it. No other way. I only have. Keep going this way. Come on out, baby. Come to the curtain. I'll flip this computer open for you. We'll give away a hat or a shirt. It's raining out today in Nova Scotia. See, I got my wood delivered. I got to put that in. I got to pay for it. And that'll keep my me and Jolene warm in the, in the winter time. Unless, maybe I'll have to chase you around the house to keep us warm, baby. Huh? I'll do that too. 
I want to thank everybody for all the comments and all the nice things being said, you know, and all the objective things, you know, about things. Just you can prove it to yourself if you want to take the time and uh, just use a little bit of yourself. You can figure that out if it works or if it doesn't work. And it's nice for, you know, as you to figure it out for yourself. It really is. And other to then ask somebody else. Ask yourself whether. How many comments? 533. 533 comments. He's a yang in this morning, she said. 533, thank you very much. Pete Mitchell. Looks like an illusion, is it? Mm -hmm. IL-20 with wings taken off. Not sh IL illusion. Might be the airplane, maybe? Or not sure. But anyways, Pete Mitchell, you have won yourself a hat or a shirt of your choice. And uh, if you need to know something, take a little time and figure it out yourself. It'll, it just takes a little bit of common sense sometimes about figuring it out yourself. Ask yourself a few things and, and uh, reflect. It'll go good, I guess. Have a good one, everybody. That's what I've done today. Happy Labor Day.